welcome man welcome back to the channel what's popping out there everybody real quick man let's get through this what time is it oh my goodness 8 20. all right uh we're talking about uh cars car shopping used car shopping and i'm gonna tell you why i chose to discuss this because we are now in the time the yearly time era okay i've gotten five calls uh so far over the past week uh concerning uh people that know me as a car guy and all that type of stuff uh they want my opinion and my opinion in the form of what kind of used car should they go buy now that they have gotten their income tax check for the life of me i don't i'm not seeing how people manage to get five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thousand dollars every year on income tax check what am i doing wrong <sighs> okay that's a whole nother story but anyway yeah so what they do when they get this lump sum of money these are i ain't ashamed to say these are predominantly people that that's not used to a lot of money so when they get that lump sum of money in one lump sum they feel rich okay rich to the point where i'm going out and buy another car when i say another car i really mean another car meaning that they just bought a car last year with the income tax check it's like wait dog hold on where's the car you bought last year with your income tax check and the year before that and the year before that it's like every freaking year they go out and buy a car using their income tax check we're in march okay i think w2 showed up early january maybe february yeah and people got the uh rapid refund like they got this stuff like two three weeks ago some of them are already riding around in used cars that's okay that's another video here's my point guys i need you to understand um used cars okay they are just exactly what they're called a used car you can't expect the world out of something that's used hell you barely can expect the world out of something that's new <laughs> as it goes as it relates to car buying okay i i sometime i work in a new car facility new car dealership the shop is full of cars that's predominantly new my point is no matter what kind of car or you're still gonna have problems okay no car is prone to or no car is how should i'm trying to say that any car can have a problem new or used it's just the way we are brought up the thinking goes that you will have less problems with a newer car yes to a degree that is true that is fact factual all right uh you're doing your taxes right that's why oh comrade is that why i'm not getting four five six thousand but i want four five six seven thousand dollars back like everybody else uh comrade got an interesting point man uh i don't know if y'all just jumped on but i'm ranting about trying to figure out how people getting all this money back every freaking year now granted they got kids and stuff like that but um uh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, so I'm going to go over a few options at fours uh, because some people got their money now and they itching, just itching. JT, what y'all got up there on the lot? Now, you know, when I'm responsible for selling a car at the shop or let's say at the dealer, uh, I get what we call a bird dog fee. So I get a commission off that. I, I tell them to go up there, tell them JT sent you, all right, about I don't know, a week later, a hundred dollar check or two hundred dollar check would show up with my name on it, my cut. So basically, I'm a I can make money either way at the dealer. I can make money via sales or uh hell if I put on a suit and go up front and sell some cars, I can make money that way. I'm already an employee, but I'm on the my pay is different once I'm responsible for getting the car over the finish line line as far as sales. Okay, my pay scale and rate is based off automotive repair. <laughs> but the sales part of it, that check comes in a different format. So um, yeah, I'm you know what? I'm y'all just gave me an idea. I'm gonna try that. One day I get bored back. I'm tired of working on cars, pinnacle stars, and three six oil coolers, and I'm sick of that. Give me a suit. I'm going up front. I mean, I'm gonna be up front today. I'm telling my boss, I'm gonna be up front today now. I'm selling some cars. So every car I sell, I get a what? A hundred dollar, two hundred dollar commission, depending on what they got going. But for the most part, uh, the the showroom hasn't seen this much traffic in a while. And you know what's weird? Um, the used car department is being um we're getting a lot of cars in use. Somebody traded in a challenger, Dars Challenger with the Hellcat package on, on it. 
why? I don't know. He tired of buying gas. He tired of speeding tickets. I don't know why people do what they do. I saw all kinds of strange. You know me. I'm back there checking them out, trying to get me some footage. But uh, guys, let's go over some cars that maybe you shouldn't buy. We always talk about what's best cars to buy. I want to go over. What's up, JT Octavia? What's up, man? 69 Dart Man. What's popping? Salty Silver Stacker. What the hell does that mean? Is you the same as Salty Jesse King? Okay. Andy, what's up, man? Octavia Comrade Baby Boomer. What's going on? All right. Uh, M.W. Kruger. What's popping, man? How y'all doing? Chrysler. Two, what, what's about your 2015 uh, 200? What's going on with your 200, man? Let me get through this. Uh, this uh presentation right quick we're gonna go over some cars that you may should uh i don't know you should you could get or steer clear either one uh guys uh what used car has the least problem let's 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 choose that one least problem cars out there guys if you're in the market to go buy a used car you might want to keep an eye on one of these now i'm not sure how the hell a bmw made this cut most reliable used cars uh i think that's a that's that's not right, guys. This what brand of used car is most reliable? Now think about it. When you're going out to buy a car, right, used or new, the first thing in your head is reliability, right? That's what you're looking for. That's what you're searching for. In other words, nobody wants to buy a car that always breaks down. All right, let's see what brand of used car is most reliable. According to JD Powell, the 2020 Chevy Sonic A99. 93 out of 100 on this reliability scale. Chevy Sonic, guys. Okay, so if you just got your income tax check and you out there looking for a reliable vehicle, according to J.D. Powell, J.D., I don't know about J.D., man. J.D. be tripping sometimes. He don't never put Chrysler stuff in this, in his little articles. I don't know. I don't know if you want to listen to J.D., but according to J.D. Powell, the 2020 Chevy, who out there are Chevy mechanics? Any Chevy dealer texts in here? Uh, the 2020 Chevy Sonic is the best car, used car. Did they say used car? Best car out there uh, from a reliability standpoint. I, I don't know about JD, man. JD, I don't know. Which car is best to buy secondhand? Let's entertain this one. Okay. Uh, we shouldn't have entertained with this. I can't call it out. None of these. I ain't never seen these cars. What are the top five most reliable cars? Okay, let's entertain this. Okay, Toyota and Lexus. That's no really. That's not really a surprise, is it, guys? I'm no hater. Okay, now I'm no Toyota hater or Lexus hater. Or I'm not. You know, whatever floats your boat. Everybody have different tastes. People will say this stuff. All these good things about Toyota, but uh, they also say the car is expensive and ugly. <laughs> so it depends on your priority. All right. If you want a reliable, ugly, expensive car, go for it. All right. Again, I'm no hater. I ain't knocking Toyota or Lexus or whoever making the best cars out there. Okay. But anyway, uh, that's that's top two. Okay. But uh, those are the most reliable cars out there. What are the three most reliable cars? Okay. We just did similar to that. I'm betting Toyota and Lexus is going to be in that. What is the most reliable car brand? Okay. We're talking about a brand. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Okay. Hey, whoa, Chrysler G. Wait a minute. Consumer Report released its annual ranking of the most and least. What? No. What is the most? Un oh, yeah. We don't. Uh, uh That ain't right. That ain't right. JD Powell. I told y'all, JD, don't listen to JD, man. JD be tripping. I thought I was reading something else. <laughs> Which year used car is best to buy? All right. This is a good one right here, guys. Uh, if you're looking for a year range on. Um, particular car to buy uh you might want to go between 2012 and up okay so when you say used cars you're talking a window right we're talking 2010 and up maybe but according to this jd Powell guy 2012 is a safe year spot now i will say this as it relates to chrysler 2011 is when they changed the complete bus network system that's when the tip them showed up that's when the three six pentastar showed up that's when a lot of stuff showed up uh advancement okay bye bye went the three eight and the three three you know cam and block engine and all that stuff so the pentastar showed up so all this stuff's supposed to be for the bet better all right so um uh, yeah try that sweet spot year on used cars you should try to um uh, 
entertain is right at 2012. Okay. All right. Uh, which month is the best to buy a secondhand car? Are you telling me that's a month? Don't buy no Kia. Why you say that? Uh, who said that? Comrade, comrade suggests y'all not buy a Kia, guys. All right. Trees, trees. What you got out there, trees? What you do with your income tax check? You go get another car. Trees, trees got a, a Durango, I think. What cars and drivers say? I try to go to their website, man. They they ad prone. They 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 just screws up my whole presentation with all those ads on that website. All right, let me finish this. Okay. Um, uh, what car is ranked number one in reliability? All right. Do anybody own one of these cars right here? Toyota Alexis. Okay. Or reliability. Guys, it's safe to say from a reliability standpoint, uh, Toyota is pretty much the king. I'm with you, Todd. Yeah. Y'all see what Ty has said? Mopar, no car, baby. None of this, this foolishness they talk about. None of this Toyota, Lexus crap they talk about. Get you a Mopar, guys. All right. Now I know my suggestion sound may sound a little biased. Okay, that's because <laughs> it is. <laughs> no. Uh, anyway, uh, Todd, I don't think they ready for that. Todd, I don't think they ready for that yet. So hold that thought, Todd. What is the most reliable car for your money? Ah, uh, we're not going to entertain that foolishness. What is the most reliable car to buy right now? Right freaking now. You got 10 grand in your pocket. What's the car to go out there and buy right now? Let's see what J.D. Powell got to say. Oh, my goodness. Again? <sighs> Some told me not to click that. That's like Scotty Kilmore clickbaiting you like, should I click it? Should I click it? Nah. All right, what is the most reliable car with the least problems? Okay, let's look at this one because everybody wants to buy a car that has very little problems, right? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your boy, JT. You can count on me to show you and to tell you which car has the least amount of problems. And the answer is <laughs> Toyota and Lexus, guys. <laughs> all right, again, guys, I'm no hater, all right? They got, the, they got it on lock, I guess. I don't know. All right, I'm not a Toyota tech. How about consumer reporting? Andy. How do you do that, Andy? You mean look up the look up the list? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll get through this one. Uh, what is the most reliable SUV? So you're in the market for an SUV. All right. Uh okay, a lot of those. All right. Honda, Mazda, Lexus. All right. But I'm thinking, don't nobody want no damn SUV. All right. Why they don't have one in here? What is the most what is the fastest car? See, that's where Chrysler would show up. All right. That's where we would start. The Ford Focus is junk. Wait a minute, Ty. There's some people in here got one of those. Wait a minute. Ty just all out there and everything. The Ford Focus is junk. Ty didn't, he didn't sugarcoat it or nothing. He just, okay, Ty, tell us how you really feel. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? What car brand has the worst problems? Oh, my goodness. If I see what I think I'm going to see, I'm going to be highly pissed. Should I click this? All right. Tahoe. Christopher Watson said Tahoe. Okay. What car brand has the worst problem? Let's see. Why the freaking Dodge Durango? You see this? Just crap. Trees, trees. Okay. There's a Ford in there. Yeah, guys. You don't want no Ford. Wait a minute. No Lincoln. No GMC. No Volvo. You don't want that. Jeep, Jeep shouldn't be in this list. I demand a recount. Hey, brother, would you be able to help me out with information on a 2011 Dodge Charger? What's wrong with your Charger, Miguel? Uh, Riviera RT. Okay. These are the 10 least reliable brands uh, that I highly don't agree with it, so we're not going to entertain that. I, I was just about to buy and flip a Focus. Uh... Right after I put a new transmission in it. Uh oh. What you change your mind? What happened? Okay. Uh is a 10 year old car too old? I just gave you out a sweet spot year, right? Which car is reliable in the world? I'm 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 betting they're gonna have Toyota and Lexus on that, so we're not gonna do that. How many miles is too many miles for a used car? All right, this sounds like a good one, guys. Uh I feel like I am biased. Hold on, let me let me see this. I feel like I am biased, but for me, I like Toyota, Acura, Honda, Lexus. They are expensive parts, but last a long time with minimum problem. I also work on cars. I don't like anything with the CVT, though. <laughs> I, I, I I understand that. GS uh, Milklo. 
Uh, thanks for your opinion, my guy. That is interesting. But Kia, okay, he got more. But Kia and Hondas have engine problems, and they robbed them. Oh my goodness! All right, what was I? Uh, what was I about to do? How many miles is too many miles for a used car? We're gonna entertain this one. There's no rule on how many miles on a used car is too much, but by attempting to stick to the twelve thousand mile per year rule, that ain't enough, guys. Find out how old the car is, multiply the number of years by 12,000. And if the number on the domino is significantly higher than that, some concerns might be warranted. I guess y'all heard that. All right. So there you have it. How many miles is too many miles? The cat converter was stolen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a 29 that won't accelerate whenever I push the gas pedal, and I replace both gas pedal. And I thought about it and had them both curling and still did not work. Are you talking about you discussing diagnosis that require a real good scan too, my friend? Your charger won't accelerate whenever you push the gas pedal. I mean, there's a number of reasons for that. If you missing the five volt reference, yeah, you none of that stuff gonna work. And that throttle body and that gas pedal is on that five volt circuit. So yeah, you uh it's all about data, my guy. It's all about comprehending the data that your scan tool is giving you. Okay, and the fault codes, of course. Let, let me let me jump back in here. Let me finish this real quick. Uh Mike P, what kind of tax return? That's what I'm talking, Mike. Mike, folks be getting five, six, seven, nine, top ten. If you do your withholding right, you should owe zero and get a refund of zero. That's what I said at the beginning of the video. Where are these folks getting? How are they getting this amount of money? Now, Mike, the difference between, I guess, us and these uh, the, the newer generation, they may have kids. So kids add up as far as income tax. Yeah, they might be filing somebody else's kids. I don't know. <laughs> but at any rate, they get the most. I'm like, how did the hell did you get $6,000 on income tax? All right, let me finish this before I uh, start fooling with y'all. Am I done? Anything else in here worked? mentioning i'm getting about 16 back okay dark dark uh 69 dark man i'm talking about the 5k 6k folks uh buddy put 45k on his new monster pickup in a year damn uh what was he going he must be uber <laughs> okay i have a 2005 dodge neon is still running like new that's what's up todd peterson all right, my old 2000-2003 Toyota Avalanche are still out here getting a job. Man, this guy's bragging on his Toyota. And he's he talking about a 2000, 2000 model. Okay. Okay, he said something about the cat converter was stolen on two months ago. Damn. All right, let me finish this. What are we done? We done with this, right? Which car doesn't have engine problems? Y'all want to entertain this foolishness? This is one of the most... Now, let's do this one first. Which car brand has the least recall? Now, when you say least recall, are you insinuating that there's no problem with this car or not as many? Uh, yeah, which car has the most issues? Let's do that one first. Volvo have a lot of issues, guys. All right. I don't know why they got Stellantis down now. That ain't right. That ain't right. Uh, that, that's not right. What car brand has the least recalls? Mercedes-Benz. Tesla is the most recalled brand. Tesla. Now, Tesla, I didn't see them. They named that name in none of these. Uh, okay, but as far as recall, they have the most. Which car doesn't have engine problems? That would be the Honda CRV. So if any of y'all out there are dogging out the Honda CRV, shame on y'all. That car don't have no engine problem, no ticking noise, no none of that. Okay. But, uh, what is the most reliable, high mileage used car? Which is the best secondhand car? All right, guys, we're done here. What matters more, car age or mileage? It's an interesting question. What matters more here, the car age or the mileage as it relates to you out car shopping? Uh, let's take a look at this. Ultimately, the decision to prioritize age or mileage depend on a variety of factors, including the car's intended use, budgets, and personal preference if reliability and safety are paramount a newer car with moderate mileage might be the ideal choice there you have it guys all right we're going in that right there that was a 
well deserved ending right there. All right, so more of the story. Uh, be careful when y'all out there car shopping, okay? Um, Uncle Mark, what's going on, man? What's up with you? Another big dump. Of, whoa, in March? It is March the 7th, man. Had one foot money in a dump last night. Goodness gracious. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, you stay warm out there, bro. I'm getting about 16. Uh, what's what's a good scan too? We can use at home that's not expensive. Hey, the one I highlighted the other day on one of my videos. Shit, I forgot the name of it. Um, uh, it's in my channel, but that's depending on what you're doing. And it's not expensive at all, and it can do a lot of things. I can when next time I go to Brothers Motor, I gotta use that and highlight that some more in those videos, okay? Um that that I don't normally push or recommend scan to, but this one is up there with you know, it's as close as you're gonna get to a dealer type scan tool. I think Mike P may diff may may beg to differ. He always liked to brag on and uh and 69 Dark Man all like always like to brag on their oxtail or whatever. But uh, that one I got, yeah, I can't think of the name. And that's a shame, right? I'm bragging on something I can't think of the name of. But uh, yeah, I did a review on it, and it's it's a damn good scan too. Uh, let me dig up some information on that. Big Lesabre or Park Avenue were supercars back in the '90s. Okay, interesting. Uh, Uncle Mark, if you get trouble code you old one, just put it in the shop. Trust me. Yes. That code is nothing to play with. Um, lost communication between a module versus another module. Any of you DIY guys out there are still thinking y'all superheroes taking on customer cars. I had a guy basically call me, basically boohooing, right? He's a DIY. I mean, he's a not, not DIY, mobile. He do mobile work, all right? But he convinced this lady, yeah, I know what it is. I can fix it. I can fix it. Guys, if you don't have the pro, how are you going to track down which a module that's not communicating with another module if all you got is a code reader? Okay. And I think the lady paid him the deposit. Okay. But he have to deliver. He have no clue how to deliver. He just thought he was going to read the code and that tell him what's wrong with it code says blah 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 even if it's a module how the hell is he gonna replace it and program a module i'm sorry but the diy days are going bye bye oh man i feel bad for y'all man because the use of a scan tool a good scan tool is becoming more and more uh evident man it's it's crazy out there man but i'm here to help as much as i can okay uh, he was driving between California, Oregon, regular. Okay. Uh, still got my, ah, that's what's up, Andy. I still got my 06. You got the first gen PT, baby. I got the second gen. Uh, that thing is at the shop in the garage. They talking about torn it away. I don't know where to put it. I ain't got nowhere to store it. So I might just end up selling it to, um, uh, pull apart. Pull apart would give you $400. Pull apart would give you more for a car than you can sell it for. Or just say you don't want to, you, you're a mechanic, you're mechanically inclined, you got a used car, you know the underlying problems with that car, and you really don't want to hand that off to somebody else you know, in the form of selling it, especially if they know you. They're going to be hounding, man, you sold me that piece of junk, because people be expecting the world out of used cars that they buy, man. Uh, that's what's up, man. Hang on to it, baby. That car converter could have shorted something out. because Yeah. Very well possible to the oxygen sensors. Okay. Just listen to JT and your Mopar will last 500K. Todd, I like the way you think. All right. Although I've never seen one as high as 500K. I did a video on one with over 300K. I just said, when people don't hang on to them that long, it's not that the car won't last that long. People get bored easily. All right. People's attention spans is so freaking little. That's why my channel growth is based on YouTube shorts. People's attention spans are, and you know what? One guy, I did a shorts video. Shorts, you only allow 60 seconds, right? This dude still say, man, you talk too much. Bro, damn, man, what? You about to make me say, bro, 60 seconds. I'm just sitting there talking. He said, I talk too damn much. Imagine if that was an eight-minute video of me just doing that. 
So people attention span is just, whoo, just, you just can't satisfy some folks. I was like, appreciate the view, man. Appreciate you watching. I wasn't about to cuss them out because, yes, Todd Peterson, good, good suggestion, my guy. Older, low mileage cars are cheap and good. Perhaps interesting point you have them. You can have a low mile piece of it <laughs> just depend on who had it. Previous owner. Uh, some people can tear a car. Yeah, comrade. Damn good point, bro. Uh, you know, it's tax season because every new car someone buys is in auto zone. Walmart, advanced auto, getting a new battery. Ah, stop. Come on, man. Leslie, stop it, man. Yes, sir. That code ain't no joke. No, sir. You owe 100. It's no joke at all. All right, my 95 Neon Coupe made, uh-oh, 100, almost 200K. That's what's up, man. Decided to give it up. Ran great till that point. All right. Guys, I want to, um, I guess so I'm at the bottom of my what you call it. So I'm about to go over here and see. Uh, I have some questions over here. A video I just put up. A uh, question for you, JT, my brother. Since you threw the gasket. What? Since you threw the gasket at the, that they paid for in the trash and got a different one who now eats the cost of that gasket you chose to use first of all uh who is this dark u.s shooter i didn't know the filter was going to come with a gasket i ordered i went up the parts department he's talking about the cvt unit i replaced earlier guys i went to the parts department i was like give me a filter a gasket and some fluid all right they didn't have the filter in stock so he brought me the gasket and the fluid Next thing I know, here come a Comquest box with the filter in it. It's a big box. The filter is small. I open the box. It's a gasket in there and a filter. Well, I don't want that rubber-ass gasket. That gasket do not seal. I have not had any luck with that gasket, so I don't use it anymore. Now, who fit the cost of it? I don't know. Would you like to have it? I threw it in the trash. I think they already emptied the trash. Point is, it's just an extra part, you know, so to speak. Yeah. And it's, it fits in the estimate because the estimate included a gasket, filter, and fluid. Yeah, it's one of those out of sight, out of mind. Shh. But there's always some guy on YouTube just interesting to know, just curious. They mind just running. I wonder who eats that. Bro, you ain't got enough to worry about. I'm a nigga. Stop. You know, there's more things than... You got bigger problems. I don't worry about who's going to fit the cost of a little rubber-ass gasket, man. <sighs> All right. I get a little. Uh, good thing the Dermon cooler comes with new gaskets. All right. Who cracking Dermon jokes? Okay. All right, guys. This is a video I did. Uh, my coworker put a a damn, uh, a damn, uh, more cool on and I hope this ain't playing because I don't want no he, um, let me do that. He um he split it right here. Let me stop. Y'all see that gasket right here? Uh it split. Okay. Now, how it split is because when you go to lay this down, when you go to lay um your intake manifold down, you know the bolts that stab through the intake manifold. If you don't have them all the way up. Yeah, you can snag one of the gaskets. So anybody here done a 3-6 Pentastar, I know to pull those freaking screws up so they're not laying down. You don't want to cock it and, and snap the, the intake manifold. So I'm assuming the one in the back, which is hard to do on a 1500, the boat was still down. So when he slid it in there, the boat caught the gasket, the rubber, the blue gasket, and, uh, you know what I'm saying, picked up on it. And by the time he set it down flush, the gasket was already split. But you don't know that because you can't view it anymore. And he just bolted down, bolted down. That car came back. Matter of fact, it barely was gone three hours. Hey, am I checking the light on? Y'all just did an oil cool on it. So it ain't like somebody in here clowning talking about Mopar gasket sucks. No, nah, bro, that, that gasket was uh, destroyed. Uh, those black rubber-like gasket always leak on me, too. You should have said you eat in... What? <laughs> no, comrade, be nice, man. Oh my goodness, you you guys are too brutal for me. Yeah, you want to know who's gonna pay for it? Like, like, like he ain't got enough problems to worry about. I'm like, okay, yeah, that ain't that ain't cool, comrade. Comrade, on one, okay. 
But anyway, uh, what's up, Turner? You should have said uh, JT uh, and all your awesome person in tech chat. Y'all say what's up to my man, Turner. He, he used to, His name used to say Turner. It's sure Canadian Diesel. Y'all can assume. It's safe to assume Turner work on diesels, right? Yeah, he got the diesel in his name. Okay. Comrade Marco, my bad. <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, yes, let's do this. I got some more over here I want to entertain. Uh, had a Taurus. No, okay, they're talking about that same one. Well, anyway, guys, uh, what's up? My dude, Dr. Art Rehab. Y'all say what's up to my uh, big homie, Dr. Art uh, Rehab. Hot Rod. So if your name, if you got Hot Rod in your name, obviously <laughs> you're into Hot Rodding, right? Right. Thanks for stopping by, Dr. Art. All right. Um, okay, wow, he came in, did it like that. What are we talking about? All right. I always got to go over here, guys. And I told y'all, I want y'all to see something right here. Y'all see this little, my, where my area at? That symbol right there represents uh, you being a subscriber. Those are the ones I attack first. Okay. Yeah. No, I only work online. <laughs> Those are the ones I attack first. Okay. So, uh, now it's not that I'm gonna uh uh you should see the new project coming this week. Uh oh, what new project? It's pretty freaking cool. Tell us about it, Dr. Art. You got it up on your website, on your uh, YouTube channel. What what's going on? <laughs> Dr. Art working on a new project, y'all. Um question for you, JT, my brother. Since you, okay, we already entertained that foolishness. New to this channel, what are you talking about? Lewis Tyra. Lewis, the day is Thursday. Okay, I go live on Mondays, no, Sundays and Thursdays. On Thursday, we have a little fun. On uh, Sundays, we get a little serious, all right? Uh, Sometimes I open the channel up or open the chat up and bring in guests. You know what? Next next Thursday, we're going to bring in some. I'm going I'm to shoot the code out on the side. Anybody got a phone or a camera and want to chime in, we're going to meet and greet. Let's do a meet and greet next, next Thursday, guys. A lot of you guys, like Lewis here, say he's new to the channel. Thanks for jumping on board, Lewis. Uh, be cool. To, I know we're dealing with the internet here, so it's not like, you know, we can dap up. What's up, dog, man? Good to meet you, man. Uh, uh. You know, you got to be careful with them bro, bro. They, what's, what's up, man? What's up, man? Yeah, so, you know. Anyway, uh, so we'll do it internet style, you know. Ain't none of all of that. We'll be like, what's up, man? How you doing, man? Good to meet you, man. Where you from? Blah, blah. Let's do a meet and greet next Thursday, guy. I'm going to put the code on the side. You got your phone, find your little tripod, shut, set it up. Tell me your name, where you from, blah, blah, this. So, Lewis, I'm hoping to see you Thursday, man. Uh, thanks for jumping on board. That's what's up. Real talk on that. All right. Well, yeah, we're messing around today. Uh, we're going to get back serious Sunday. I love uh, you get my bad sense of humor. <laughs> That's it, uh, Turner. Another crazy go-kart. Uh-oh, what are we talking about? No, it's not up yet. Uh, but basically, it's a 1964 Dodge DT pickup truck built in a style of early 60s gas air with the tiny engine. Dr. Art, always up to <laughs> always up to something. Okay. Y'all look out for this project, my buddy, cooking up. We can't wait, Dr. Art. All right. You're going to have to showcase, give us a tour. All that good stuff. Showcase the thing, man. Uh, welcome to the game. Yes, Lewis. Appreciate you jumping on, man. Tell us what you think of the new Dodge Charger. New Dodge Charger. What new Dodge Charger? Okay, what is the uh, Mopar? What is the site? What What is the Chrysler site that uh, tells all the stuff about the new car? I thought it was Mopar something. Damn, I can't think of it. Anyway, they 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 get highlight all the new stuff on the way down the pipe. A three eighteen. No, uh, I don't know enough about it to speak on it, my guy. The guy that asked that question. What's up, Garage Monkey? What's going on, man? How you doing? Um, not auto corrected from Hemi engine to tiny engine. It's gonna have a Hemi in it. Okay. All right, this should be interesting, man. We can't wait. Okay. Um, have you ever regretted selling the car? Yes. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I knew mechanics always know the underlying problems of the car they're selling, right? 
I knew this car had some problems. I didn't take into account when you sell a car, your name and your address is on that car. I sold a car with a real damaged K frame or cradle. All right. Cradle's busting, but it drives fine. But if you look at it, you would swear your life in danger every time you're driving it. So I sold this car to a young guy. Uh, I guess before he changed the title over and got tags, he went somewhere to get an oil change. I get you know how some people first thing do when they get a car, go get an oil change. They had the car up in the air. Oh, boy, yo, homies, Mr. George. Come here, Mr. George. How much you pay this guy for this car? Oh, too much, too much. Way too much. Let me show you. Look. So the guy, mechanic showed the guy the, the damage on the K-frame. And lo and behold, remember, my name and address is on the title. He ain't changed it over yet. <laughs> That's as far as I'm going to go with this story. Because, yeah, it could have got uglier than it did. But... So, uh, have you ever regret selling a car? Yes, in that condition. Not regret from a standpoint, I wish I had kept it because it had sentimental values or anything like that. No, uh, guys, don't sell known junk, okay? If you do, explain it to the new owner, all right? That mechanic was trying to make money, so he hyped that up as to be so dangerous, he even tried, even gave him an estimate on to fix it, right? Put another crate on it. Well, the guy was livid because he had just bought it. People don't care what's wrong. People don't care what's wrong with their car. The problem people have with new car ownership or another car ownership is, in their mind, it's just like new. Oh, hell no. The cradle messed up. I just bought this car. The car don't know you, bro. The car don't know it's in the hands of a new owner. The car might be still thinking it's with JT. And JT, remember that bumpy head in the road and cracked that cradle. But my point is, people don't look at it that way. If you go buy a used car right now and your AC went out in it, here's the first thing you're going to do. Already? Damn, man, I just bought the car. I can't believe it. The car don't give a damn. The car, hey, bro, I was going to go out whether you bought it or not. Okay? The AC, yeah, I had plans for, you know, for my AC to break. You know, I, that was the plan. I ain't know you just bought the car. So who you crying at, me or the guy that sold it to you? I can't believe it. I just bought this. I just bought it already. It's a use. This story get way out there. But anyway, yes, comrade. Uh, don't do that. Don't do what I did. That's 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 uh foolishness. Okay. All right, I'm getting behind. I think the new charger looks great, but a lot of old car guys hate it. Uh, man, I got to see what y'all talking about. Mopar Insiders. I think that's it. Was that it? Mopar Insiders. Oh, they got all this foolishness. Was it Mopar Insiders? Is that it? Uh, the details of the 2024 Dodge Charger Daytona Scat Pack. Is, is it electric or it's not? Is it still gas? See, this is a shame. I got a course coming up. I'm going to, I hope they have this car at the training center when I uh, get there. I got a three-day course coming up this month. Stellantis unveils 5.5 billion investment for South America. Yeah, I got to get it caught up to steam, but uh, what do I think about it? I guess I won't know until I, uh, it's a beauty though, ain't it? Y'all like that? Yeah, look at the wheels on that thing. I can't stroll up or nothing. The details of the 20, that's 2024. We in 2024. So this car is headed down the pipeline, guys. This car may show up at dealerships very soon but the shame about that is a lot of the dealerships have the older model a lot of them too guys that last generation of uh scat packs and chargers and challenges being resistant or being pe uh, pesky they don't nobody want to come get them no more one of the tiny toyota hemis dot yeah so yeah this look nice from the outskirt okay so uh, I got to catch up. I got to go read this article and catch up on the latest in Chrysler news. Challenger's nameplate not making a return to Dodge lineup. I need to be aware of all this stuff. 550 horsepower Dodge Charger six pack. Okay. That's coming down the pipeline. Look at this. This is what everybody dreading, guys. The all new, all electric. Oh, that's 2024? Wait a minute. Oh. Uh, the all-new 
all electric 2024 Dodge Charger Daytona. 400 volt scat pack capable of zero to 60. Whoa, whoa. Hey, Do Dr. Art still in here. Uh, are those numbers impressive, Dr. Art? Uh, Turner, what's the uh, uh, 69 Dart Man? Whoever here mechanically inclined. Zero to 60 in 3.3 seconds out of a electric vehicle is sound a little spooky. Okay. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but I ain't ready. That is the, uh, and they said it's 2024. What a coincidence. We in the year 2024. I was talking about the new electric. Okay. Captain, he's talking about the new electric also with the Hurricane I-6. Yeah, I don't know enough about it yet. Like I say, I got some courses coming up. Uh, I do a new Hemi in it. That's a possibility. Dodge back pedal real Dodge back pedal real quick on an electric only future for the charger. Okay. Uh, that's why I say I need to get uh, caught up on this stuff, man. Uh, possibility. Big money, but cool, Doc. I regret selling my Pontiac G-A-G-T every day. Okay. Uh, well, you're in the hands of Mopar now, Mike P. All right. You you should be fine now. I really want the Pro Master to go. Ah, really? Turner, why, man? Come on, man. Not a diesel Pro Master. <laughs> they already out there. Eh? They're not really Pro Masters, though, are they? Uh, those other companies make those. Man, I just edited a video on the PC with a program. Uh, like a whole hour and a half got done. Then it's like you need to buy. Oh, you got to buy the program in order to save it. So I bought and tried it again. It kept saying, saying, oh, man, Garage Monkey. Straighten it out, man. We need some more product on you. I don't know. Am I uh, Garage Monkey? Did we, did we check you out last time? I don't even know. Garage Monkey. I think we tried to pull you up last time. So I'm, uh, cause I don't know if I'm, uh, what is you garage monkey mechanic? Garage monkey. Look at all these garage monkeys. Yeah, bro. Oh, that's a lot of y'all out there. So you just going to make me put mechanics up here, huh? Yeah, man. Uh, get that video fixed, man. It changed the gas. Dude, man, we're having a hard time finding you, man. Garage Monkey Mechanic. Ain't that you? Oh, M-U. Garage Monkey Mechanics. It's asking for an S. Are you serious? And a question mark? <laughs> so, oh my goodness you're too hard to find bro you gotta you got change your damn name that look like bearded ford tech y'all know bearded ford tech all those four guys always got a damn beard ford boss man me all of them just always with a beard oh uh, man i just edited a video garage monkey i can't find you bro <laughs> you too, you too uh, hard to find man uh what did the tesla do zero to 60 and like 1.6, 1.6? Here I am thinking 3.3 a lot and turning on feel bragging about a Tesla that goes 0 to 6 and 1. You know how quick 1.6 second is? You know how, how fast you got to be to get up to 60 in that little length of time? All right. I'm not a hot rod guy, so uh, I'm sorry, Garage Monkey. You, uh, they, they YouTube done stop doxing me. <laughs> YouTube. YouTube that dock your channel out, man. I can't freaking find you. All these other monkeys showed up. Uh, garage monkeys. I put I spelled it right, put the U in there. Maybe I left the question mark off. All right, one more time. I'm gonna try it with the question mark at the end. Where is the damn question mark on the keyboard? That's it right down. Garage monkey mechanics. I don't know what to tell you, bro. <laughs> Bro, you <laughs> no lyrics. Hey, motion, no lyrics. What up, my folks? What's popping, man? How you doing? Yeah, we have this guy. He done been kicked off YouTube. He don't even know it yet. Oh, oh, this you, Mister Monkey Monkey Mechanic. That ain't you. 
All right. Guys, it's nine o'clock. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I can't. Well, I'm still using the Windows editor and MS Paint to do my stuff. So you leaps and bounds ahead of me. Oh, man. I was wondering what you guys using. I use um a Sony Vegas. I think I went over this before with y'all. Uh, this is the video I just edited. Okay. Sony Vegas has been good to freaking me. Yeah, this is the video I just edited with the... They gave me some damn freaking... I had to... Y'all see that crap? STP, CBT, full synthetic. I don't know if it's crap or not. I'm just saying. But anyway, uh, I wish I was fluent like like Fluffy Mexicanic. He do all his editing on his phone. I cannot put in the little tricky stuff. And I got the latest and greatest phone. It just drives me cuckoo trying to do that like that. Uh, you need the spelling right. I did, Dark Man. Uh, garage market. Yeah, so uh, you might want to step up, man. I don't know, but this stuff costs. I don't buy this. I got a crack version. My PC, my whole PC is wired illegally. <laughs> See, if police break in my house, I might get locked up for fraudulent software. I got software all over this place. Uh, I wish I would. Man, it would be hard for me to pay for it now, but like if I, I, I'm doing okay now, so I wouldn't mind giving Sony Vegas the money that I should have given them a while back, but uh, I'm not banned yet. <laughs> uh, it must be on the way, bro, because they, they can't, we can't find you. But uh, I got a lot more other videos to edit. In fact, let me show y'all my folder. Where's my folder? Oh, don't mind my, uh, this is March alone. See, this is all the crap I haven't, uh, all the crap on my phone. Let me entertain y'all a little bit, okay? What, what was going on right here? Oh, that's a picture or something. Let me see. There's some stuff I'm about to pull over. And, uh, oh, no, that's that CVT I pulled out. Let me see. What's in here interesting? Okay, I just did that one. Uh, I already edit that one. I the transmission, the one with the damn guys. I brought a Wrangler in the other day. We pushed it in. The freaking uh case, whole case had busted. What is going on here? Oh, that's that uh I don't know what the hell that is. I gotta edit it though. Oh, that's the one I was doing. Shit, I can't remember. Oh, okay. Yeah, this this one had uh, some ticket issues. I got to edit that. I got a lot of stuff to do, man. So I'm not banned yet. But uh, I'm going to wrap this up, fellas. It's 9 o'clock. It was something I wouldn't mind showing y'all, but even before the video come out. Where is that? Where is that? I can't find it now for some reason. This is a little pump I bought off of uh, Harbor Freight uh, because I'm doing a cooler. And I didn't want to bring my whole pump. So I went to Harbor Freight and scooped that up. But what is this one? I already, already talked about that. That's the CVT. Guys, they don't want this CVT back. So you know what I'm going to do? My transmission table over there, we're going to bust this open. All right, we're going to crack that open and uh, look at some goodies that's going on inside this transmission. Just a big old belt. It's really somebody reminded me uh, either today or yesterday that there's no shifting going on in a damn CVT JT. What you talking about? Can't remember what I was doing here. However, oh, there yeah, I do. This is the car that came in. Okay, I don't want to spill the video. I got to finish editing that one. Yeah, I should have had some gloves on. People see a black guy hand that they might get a little spooky. Uh, I'm getting my own little what you call the gloves too, y'all. My special made gloves. It has the channel logo on it. But uh, I don't think it was in March. What what was last month? February. Here's my February folder. It's fuller than March. This is stuff, man. If I had a week off, I still wouldn't get caught up. All right. This is just stuff I haven't edited, and most of these are shorts. Rebuilt it and sell it, JT. Okay. What are we talking about? What did I miss? 
So I got a lot. This is just February. What came before February? January. Is January still up here? Yeah, I needed to make room my computer. Hell, December still up here. What did I do in December that I didn't upload? Look, that folder piled up. So I got a lot of work to do. And guys, you know something about videography or, or YouTube? You really need to edit your own stuff because only you know what kind of message you was trying to get across at that time. And uh, only you can uh, remember what you was trying to say at that time. Like, if I put this in the hand of a video person, they wouldn't know what to do because... Uh, what was I doing here? Okay, this is all my gravy that somebody sent me. Y'all see that oil cooler right there? She bought the brake jar. Y'all see some rotors right there. Cooling flush. This is like a 10-hour ticket. So, yeah, I knocked it out fairly quick. Gravy. Look at that Mopar rotors, y'all. Y'all see the Mopar rotors? Boy, what? 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 Yeah, guys, Mopar rotors. We use Mopar rotors over here. Let me stop playing for my new, my new people in here think I'm crazy. I'm not crazy, guys. I just uh I'm just entertaining. It was something I wanted y'all to see. Where is that transmission with the busted case? Oh, this is the engine I was robbing. That's a 3-3. Three, three. That's the engine that was out before uh that before the Pentastar showed up. That's what we had. That's a cam and cam and block design engine, guys. Okay. I am about to rob some parts off of it because it is going to the scrapyard. Uh, great live stream, JT. Always something to learn. Nice to see everyone editing and take a lot of time. Yes, it do. Uncle Mark, you know that. You know, first hand, yes, it can take a lot of time. Some footage, I probably will have issues remembering key stuff. Yeah, but um, it, it, it tends to come back to you when you're doing it yourself as opposed to a company doing it. So I don't mind doing it. I just need a lot of free time to do it. Uh, yeah, that stuff there going to the scrap, y'all. Guys, I'm going to wrap this uh, live stream up, okay? I appreciate y'all tuning in. We're going to uh, we're gonna do this again Sunday, all right? That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe if you're not already. I'll see y'all on the next video.